In this video, we're going to talk about solving logarithmic equations. Now, a logarithmic equation is just an equation that involves logarithms. And for the problems in this video, uh, we're going to be able to use the following fact. Uh, some other logarithmic equations are a little bit more difficult to solve, and you have to use something uh, uh, more than just this fact. But the fact says that for positive constants u, v, and a, with a not equal to 1, if log base a of u is equal to log base a of v, then u equals v. Okay, so let's look down here uh, at the example in part A. Solve this logarithmic equation. It says log base 6 of x plus 5 is equal to log base 6 of 19. Now notice this has the same form as our fact above. The a is 6, the u is x plus 5, and the v is 19. So <clears throat> what this is saying, the fact is saying, is that x plus 5 has to equal 19. Okay, let's rewrite this. x plus 5 is equal to 19 and so subtracting 5 from both sides we get that x is equal to 14. So 14 is a solution and it certainly makes sense that it will be a solution because log base 6 of 14 plus 5 that would be 19 is equal to log base 6 of 19. Okay the next example says that log of x and of course that really means log base 10 of x that's a common logarithm is equal to log of x plus 3 minus log of x minus 1. Now again all of these are base 10 logarithms. <clears throat> now we can rewrite this as log of x is equal to log of x plus 3 over x minus 1. Here we're using the quotient property of logarithms. Notice we have a difference of logarithms here, so we can write it as log of a quotient. So we have log base 10 of x is equal to log base 10 of x plus 3 over x minus 1. So according to our fact, we must have that x is equal to x plus 3 over x minus 1. Now to solve this, we can get rid of the fraction uh, by multiplying both sides by x minus 1. And what we would have is x minus 1 times x is equal to x plus 3. If we distribute the x on the left side, we get x squared minus x is equal to x plus 3. Subtracting this x from both sides, we get x squared minus 2x is equal to 3. And then subtracting 3 from both sides, we get x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now to solve this we could use the quadratic formula but I think the easiest way is to just factor this. Uh, <clears throat> we have an x squared here so we're going to put an x and an x and I think x minus 3 times x plus 1 will work because x times x is x squared. We have a minus 3x if we do the inside two terms and a plus 1x if we do the outside two terms. So that gives you a minus 2x. And minus 3 times plus 1 is minus 3. So uh, what values of x make this left-hand side equal to 0? Well, if x is 3, the left-hand side will be 0. Or if x is minus 1. Now you have to be a little bit careful here. If you go back to the original equation, you cannot plug in minus 1 for x because you'd have a log of a negative number. Okay, and that is not defined. That would not make sense. So we can cancel the solution uh, x is equal to minus 1. That's not really a solution. The only solution is x is equal to 3. Now you could check your answer by plugging it into a calculator. Uh, if we plug in 3 for x, it says log of 3 on the left side is equal to log of 6 minus log of 2. Okay, and you can check on your calculator, uh, because you should have a log base 10 button on your calculator, that uh, log of 6 minus log of 2 really does equal log of 3. So 3 uh, really is a solution.